You know, I really miss how I used to be able to explain something to someone by just writing or drawing on a piece of paper, whether it was at school or at work. And with this app, I can do that real time while sitting at home. The app is called Miro or Miro and it lets you do that for free. It's also very flexible. For example, you can choose the kind of pen, the kind of highlighter, the color and the stroke width of that particular pen. You can add shapes if you want to, you can add a sticky note. And here's a quick snapshot of everything that you can add on top of whatever you draw. And of course, to be able to use this, both the parties should have Miro installed and you can invite the person by their email ID. A lot of times I'm watching a video and I want to bookmark moments like this and maybe at this point and maybe at another point. So I've got four bookmarks of that video available to me whenever I want and I can refer to them. And why just videos? I can do this for articles as well. Let's say I'm reading an article, there's a part I really like, I can select it and then I can highlight it in a color of my choice. Now all of these highlights, whether it's PDFs, whether it's articles or videos are available for me to review in one place. The app is called Liner and it does that beautifully. And here's how you use it. Let's say you're watching a YouTube video. Tap on share and click on Liner. The video will open up in Liner's browser. And now every time you tap on this pen highlighter, it's going to bookmark that moment. So if you're researching something or if there's something in a video that you really like and want to refer to later, you can just keep bookmarking them. And then when you go back into the app, you can tap on those timestamps where you bookmarked and it'll take the video right there. Next up is Battery Guru. The app provides you with real-time battery consumption data. It tells you how much current is being used at that moment. So more current just means more battery is being consumed. So if I brighten up the screen, you'll see it shows that more battery is being used. And if I reduce the brightness, you can see that lower battery or lower current is passing. And looking at this current graph, you can really identify which app started to take too much battery. The app also identifies things you haven't done yet and you can do to improve your daily battery performance. It gets more interesting. If you go into the health tab, you can see how much of your battery's overall health you've lost. So I've lost 6% of my battery's capacity already. And then if you scroll down, it will tell you ways you can protect your battery. For example, deterioration caused because of extreme temperatures or extreme charging. You can set the upper and lower charging thresholds and that will maintain the most long lasting settings for your battery's health. Keeping between 10 degrees and 40 degrees is a good idea. And keeping your minimum battery level between 15% and 80% to avoid under and overcharging is also a good idea. The app will also give you a battery draining reminder if in case it just detects any kind of extra draining happening from a specific app. And guys, before we move on, if you're finding these apps useful, show your support by subscribing to the channel. It really helps me in ways more than you know. All right, now let's move on. Next, I use an app that helps me open up certain web links or web pages as full screen. So for example, if I go into Unsplash, this is the Unsplash website, but it opens up in full screen as if it's an app. Or let's say I go into BNH photo video website where I, you know, occasionally buy my equipment from. But look at this, it behaves like an app because it's full screen. And you know, if you visit certain URLs very frequently, then this app is certainly useful. It's called Native Alpha. When you install it and open it, just add that URL. It'll automatically fetch the icon for it and you can give it a specific name and that way add that widget onto your home screen so that you have easy access to it. That's it. Next up is actually a game. It's called Shapes and it's a slightly mind challenging game where you have to complete the shape which is almost like a loop. You turn around parts of the shape to form that big final shape. And needless to say, it does become difficult as you progress. There's also an audio experience to it. And here's a sample for you. And you know, this game also has a calming effect on you because of its music and effects. And hey, you can quickly hop onto the game if you're getting bored or if you're waiting for someone. It's also a bit of a mental exercise for you. And I think it's better than aimlessly scrolling through social media, Instagram or TikTok. All right, moving on. You know how there are so many apps in the Play Store that help you fall asleep? And the good ones are paid and the free ones are not that good. This app is right in between. So the app, when you open it up, it shows you some scenes that you can browse through. These are free, these are presets, and they're already made. 
They are obviously a combination of a few sound effects that are already in the app and you can enjoy them for as long as you want and you can place a timer too. Here's how they sound. Now, if you go into the sound tab, there are a few that you can just tap on and play and they are really crisp. Else, you can just add to these by tapping, you know, some of these sounds and create your own mix. There are 20 free sounds in here that you can play with and over time, if you grow to like it, you can upgrade. Though the free version does help out just enough. And the reason I say that is because the free version contains nature sounds and water sounds, which are the most important and widely used uh, sounds that you really need to fall asleep or even to focus and this app has that. Alright guys, that's pretty much the apps I had for the month of May 2022 and I hope you guys really enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.